Hello dear all welcome to Sunday Education Academy I am Santosh Wag in this video we will see squares and square roots chapter 6 class 8 mathematics video will be in two parts in the first part we will discuss properties and patterns of square numbers so let's start our video let's start chapter 6 squares and square roots in the chapter we will discuss the different terms and different rules of the number also in this chapter we will see the properties of square numbers then some rules regarding the squares some interesting pattern about the squares so first we start with introduction introduction to square let's write the formula for area of square area of square area of square is equal to side multiplied by side are you getting means if this is a square then area of this square is multiplication of two sides that is a multiplied by a because as as it is square all sides are equal if this is a it will be a so a into a that is a square thus area of square is a square if the side is 3 cm then area will be 9 cm square for a if a is 3 cm then square will be What is the square? Three into three. Three into three. That will be nine, and unit will be centimeter square. So area of this square will be nine centimeter square. Means multiplication of two sides. That is the square. Here we see nine is a perfect square. So numbers like if one, then four, then nine. 16 these are the perfect square perfect square why these are perfect square because 16 is written as 4 into 4 9 is written as 3 into 3 2 is written as 2 in 4 is written as 2 into 2 and 1 is written as 1 into 1 means these numbers are perfect squares these are are called as a square numbers other number for example see 30 2 whether it is perfect square no it is not a perfect square because no natural number 32 is in between 25 and 36 which are the perfect square 25 is a perfect square because 5 into 5 we get 25 on 36 6 into 6 these are the perfect square numbers but 32 lies in between 25 and 36 so there is no number no natural number between 5 and 6 because 32 as 32 is lying in between 25 and 36 so no natural number between 5 and 6 so 32 is not a perfect square now we will discuss properties of square numbers just study different square different numbers natural numbers and their square if natural numbers we will write here natural numbers and square if natural number is 1 square is 1 natural number is 2 square is 4 natural number is 3 square is 9 like this complete this table now see this table these are the natural numbers and in this column there is a square of this natural number we can observe that in square in square the ending digits ending digits are what are the ending digits 
ending digits in square are only one then four one is there there is no two there is no three four is there five is there then six is there so no seven no eight nine is there and zero is there so we can say we can state that square numbers so we can state that square numbers end with only 0 1 4 5 6 9 thus we can state that square numbers end with 0 1 4 5 6 9 and none of these end with 2 3 7 or 8 so this is the property of this is a property of square numbers so we can find we can guess at least guess whether it is square number it or not or whether it is chances that that number is square or not so if for example guess whether it is a perfect square or not if number is 7928 can you guess yes this the unit place is 8 so we know none of these end with 8 so it is not a perfect square are you getting perfect square not a perfect square so if number is 1057 7 also not a perfect square so it is also not a perfect square now see the rules for square numbers if we see number is 1 its square is 1 the, see, see this pattern if number if, if number is 9 its square is 81 if number is 11 its square is 121 if number is 19 its square is 361 and if number is 21 its square is 441 if we see this table then what we can guess we can guess that if a number has 1 or 9 in the unit place then its square ends with 1 so here for every example if the number has 1 or 9 1 or 9 in its unit place then square its square ends with 1 so what we can say so what is the rule if a number has 1 or 9 in the unit place see number has 1 or 9 these are the examples in its unit place then its square its square ends with 1 so this rule is very important also another example square numbers ending in 6 if a number right here square and number if square is 16 number is 4 if square is 36 number is 6 if square is 196 number is 14 if square is 256 number is 16 here also what we can say So this rule what this rule says when a square number ends in 6 if these are the square numbers these are the square numbers if square number ends ends in 6 6 is the unit place 6 the number whose square whose square it is will have either 4 or 6 in the unit place thus we have seen these two rules see 10 square equal to 100 20 square equal to 400 then 80 square equal to 6400 and also 100 square equal to 10,000 
टू हंड्रेड स्क्वेर इक्वल टू फोर्टी थाउजेंड लाइक दिस हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व फॉर अ नंबर देर इज सिंगल जीरो बट इन द स्क्वेर देर आर टू जीरो हियर ऑल्सो फॉर अ नंबर देर आर टू जीरो इन नंबर बट इन स्क्वेर नंबर देर आर फोर जीरो वट वी कैन कंक्लूड सो वी कैन कंक्लूड दट स्क्वेर नंबर दीज नंबर कैन हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ जीरो एट द एंड सो ओनली इवन नंबर ऑफ जीरो आर देर इन द स्क्वेर फोर हंड्रेड इज देर दिस नंबर दिस नंबर इज परफेक्ट स्क्वेर बट फोर थाउजेंड this number is not perfect square 4000 is not perfect square because zeros are odd numbers here zeros are in even number so it is a perfect square it is not a perfect square so this rule is also important to guess the number whether it is perfect square or not so thus we have seen these rules now see some more interesting patterns there are different patterns of the square numbers First is the adding triangular numbers. What is the triangular number? Number whose dot patterns can be arranged as triangle. If number is one, then this this is the suppose this is the dot. If number is three, then this number can be arranged as a triangle. Dot pattern. This dot pattern. If number is six, number can be arranged like this. in a triangular form there are six dots 1 2 3 4 5 6 so number is 6 seven number cannot be uh, placed like this triangle form so seven number is not a triangular number next number is eight number also not triangular number next number is 10 10 number can be placed 1 2 3 Four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like this triangle, we are we can plot this number. This in a triangular form. So these are the triangular numbers. How? What is? What will be the next triangular number? It is one, three, six, ten. Next will be see in number ten there there are four dots in first row. For six, there are three dots. For three, there are two dots. For the next number, there must be five dots. Put oh here one, two, three, four, and five. Now complete this triangle. The next will be one, two, three, four. Four lines, four dots. Next triangle in the next row, in the next column there will be three. Here will be two, and last will be one. So count these. Five plus four, nine plus three, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So next number will be fifteen. The next number will be next triangular number will be here. See, we have added five for this number to get next triangular number. Here we have added four. We have added four plus four. Here plus five. So next number will be plus six. Fifteen plus. Six twenty one. So ten twenty one will be the next triangular number. So this is the pattern of triangular number, and triangular numbers are calculated like this. So if we add these consecutive triangle numbers, we get a square number. Add these two numbers, three plus six consecutive numbers, triangular numbers, we get perfect square. Why perfect square? See. Three and six. In the six, if we plot this triangular number like this six, and we are adding three dots here one, two, and three. This is a perfect square number nine because there are three, three by three. So it is a perfect square number. So what we can say if we add two consecutive Triangular numbers, we get a perfect numbers. 
so if we add two consecutive triangle, triangular numbers we get perfect square add 15 plus 21 15 plus 21 we get we get 36 so 36 is also perfect square number so this is true for the triangular numbers now see next in interesting pattern number between square numbers number bit numbers between square numbers very interesting pattern take two squares any two square numbers suppose we take three square that is 9 and 4 square that is 16 so how many numbers are there in between 9 and 16 10 11 12 13 14 15 these are the numbers total 1 2 3 4 5 6 then for higher number suppose for the higher number let 6 square let 5 square 5 square is 25 and 6 square is 36 how many numbers are there between 25 and 36 natural numbers 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 and 35 how many numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 10 numbers there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 6 numbers now if we increase the number square number like 100 number 100 and uh, 101 then it is very difficult to count like this in this method but there is some relation what is the relation the relation is if 10 how 10 is calculated 10 is a double number of 5 6 is a double number of 3 it is very easy so we can write so in general we can write there are 2 n non perfect square numbers non perfect because these numbers in between perfect square numbers are non perfect 10 11 12 these are non perfect numbers so there are 2 n non perfect square numbers between the squares of numbers n and n plus 1 n means in this example n is 5 and n plus 1 is 6 so in between 5 square and 6 square there are 2 n 2 n means double of 5 means there are 10 numbers thus it is very simple to calculate calculate the numbers suppose for example we can calculate non perfect numbers between 100 and 101 in these numbers so how we can calculate 2 n n is 100 so there are 2 into 100 means there are 200 numbers 200 numbers which are non perfect square numbers between squares of 100 and square of 101 so this formula is very useful to calculate these numbers now see the next interesting pattern adding odd odd numbers if we start adding the odd numbers from 1 1 is odd number so what is 1 1 is 1 is 1 square 1 equal to 1 square if we if we add 1 plus next odd number is 3 then 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 and what is 4 4 is a 2 square add 1 plus 3 and next odd number is 5 summation will be 9 9 is 3 square then if we continue this pattern 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 then what will be the addition addition will be 16 16 is 4 square so continue this 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 next odd number is 9 that is 25 
and 25 is pi square so we can write so what we can say sum of first n odd numbers is a perfect square is a number square so right here thus we can say sum of first n odd numbers which are natural is n square now see this 1 2 3 4 5 these are the first 5 odd numbers odd natural numbers and sum of these odd natural numbers is 25 which is a square of 5 so if we add first 5 numbers then it is a square of 5 if we add first 3 numbers then it is a square of 3 if we add first 2 numbers it is a square of 2 number 2 so it is square of 2 that is 4 so this rule is also very useful thus we can say any perfect square can be expressed any perfect square can be expressed as a summation of odd numbers starting with 1 summation of all successive odd numbers starting with 1 so this also helps thus we can say if number in other way we can say we can say if a natural number is a perfect square perfect square then it has to be sum of successive odd numbers starting from 1 so this rule is very important now see you know, the next pattern sum of consecutive natural numbers here see this pattern the sum of consecutive natural numbers what is said we can express the square of any odd number as the sum of two consecutive positive integers let's uh, take an example of 9 square 9 square is 81 81 is 40 plus 41 these are the two consecutive positive integers and 81 is expressed as this 41 how 41 is calculated 41 is calculated see this is 9 so 9 square minus 1 divided by 2 plus 9 square plus 1 divided by 2 so how this is calculated 40 and 41 in this way we can express any number suppose take 3 square 3 square is 9 9 is expressed as 4 plus 5 are you getting so what this rule says any square of odd number any square of odd number is sum of two consecutive positive integers 4 and 5 are consecutive numbers other example also we can take 7 square 7 square is 49 49 is expressed as 24 plus 20 5. these are the two consecutive positive integers now we'll see next the pattern product of two consecutive even or odd natural numbers take any two consecutive even or odd numbers so suppose take 11 and next consecutive number 11 is odd number next consecutive odd number is 13 in this product is 143 what is the 143 143 is nothing nothing but 144 minus 1 144 minus 1 means it is 12 square minus 1 why 12 square minus 1 because 11 is nothing but 12 minus 1 and 13 is 12 plus 1 11 and 13 these are the two consecutive odd numbers so middle number is 12 so 12 minus 1 is 11 12 plus 1 is 13 so this can be we know a minus 1 into a minus a plus 1 that is a square minus 1 that is 12 square minus 1 so this is a pattern so take the next example 13 into 15 so middle number is 14 so how we can write 14 square 14 minus 1 14 plus 1 15 is 14 plus 1 so that is 14 square minus 1 
so in general we can say a plus 1 into a minus 1 this that is equal to a square minus 1 so this rule is also very important to find the some patterns now see some more patterns in square numbers suppose take number 1 1 square then 11 square then 1 1 1 3 times 1 square 4 times 1 square 5 times 1 1 square so 1 square will be 1 11 square will be 21 11 square will be 121 121 can be written as 1 2 1 then 111 square that is here 1 to 1 is written now we write the square is 1200 square is 12321 so how it can be written 1 2 3 2 1 this is a pattern in this pattern next if we add one more one here then pattern will go here up to 3 so pattern will go 4 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 if there are 4 ones then center number is 4 if there are 3 ones center number is 3 if there are 2 ones the center number is 1 there is 1 1 so like this if there are 5 so center number will be 5 and it will reduce in the next line so it will go 5 4 3 2 1 and it will also repeat the pattern so this is a pattern so very interesting pattern like this we can write any square if they are only single number 1 so just count how many ones are there put that number here if there are seven ones like this if there are seven ones one two three four five seven there are seven ones this square will be seven will be there then six five four three two one here also six five four three two one so this will be the square of this number now see the another pattern another pattern of another pattern 7 square equal to 49 then if we add 6 here 67 square that will be 4 4 and 9 will remain as it is but in between these two numbers 48 will be added then if we add one more 6 here 6 6 7 then this 4 and 9 will remain as it is here 48 48 added then one more 4 will be added here and one more 8 be added here so 4 will be 4 and 9 will be there then 48 this 48 will remain as it is here 8 will be added and here 4 will be added there are 2 6 so 2 4 and 2 8 there is one six, so only forty-eight. Are you getting one four and one eight? If we add one more six here, then its square will be here four and nine will be remain as it is. Here two six, so two four. So here three six, three four. One two three and three eight. Eight eight eight. So this is a pattern. In this pattern, we can find the square of numbers which is in this pattern. Now see how to find the square of a number. For small numbers, we know 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. We can memorize up to certain limits. But if number is more, then without multiplying that number, how to find a square suppose example example we take 23 this number square of this 
23e is equal to 23 into 23 then we must uh, remember we must memorize the table of 23 but instead of that how we can write 23 square equal to in the bracket 23 is nothing but 20 plus 3 bracket square so that is equal to 20 plus 3 one bracket and another bracket 20 plus 3 so solve this it will be very easy 20 20 plus 3 plus 3 into bracket 20 plus 3 Solving this, 400 plus 20 into 360 plus 3 into 20 60 plus 3 into 3 that is a 9 and that will be 400 plus 60 plus 60 that is 520 and plus 9 529. Thus in a simple way we can simplify our calculation just taking a nearest round number of this. Another example take square of 51 51 is, one is nothing but 50 plus 1 bracket square in the similar way we can find the square of 51 now see the other patterns in squares if a number has 5 in its unit place if number is 5 its square is 25 if number is 20 15 what is its 15 square, 15 square is 225, 25 square is 625, 35 square is 1225. Now observe here, if unit place is 5, then in square 25 is there always. And this 12, 12 is nothing but 3 into 4, what is 12, 3 into 4, what is this 6, 6 is 2 into 3, multiply the next number to this digit, are you getting, 15 means multiply this one by next number, next number is 2 for the 1, so 1 into 2 is 2 and 25 as it is. Now find the square of 75, 7 into next number is 8, 7 into 8, 56, 56 and 25 as it is. So in a simple way, in a very short trick, we can find the square of numbers whose unit place is 5. So, but what is the pattern? Similarly, we can find 95 square, 9 into Next number is 10. 9 into 10, 90. And 5 square, 25. Are you getting? So this is a square of 95. Now see the Pythagorean tri triplets. What is the triplet? Triplet means 3 numbers. And in Pythagoras, we know if this is the right angle triangle and the, these are the sides A, B, C, then C square equal to a square plus b square so these three numbers a b c are called as the pythagorean triplets here if we take 3 square plus 4 square it is 9 plus 16 that is 25 25 is nothing but 5 square so these three numbers 3 4 5 3 4 and 5 these are called as the pythagorean triplets similarly if we take 6 square plus 8 square that will be 64 plus that will be 36 that will be 36 that will be 36 plus 64 that, and addition will be 100 100 is 10 square so 6 8 10 these are the pythagorean triplets these are the example of pythagorean triplets again we can find some more numbers which are triplets and examples are 5, 12, 13. This is also triplet. So some formula is there for any natural number 
number we know that for any natural number m greater than 1 we have 2m square plus m square minus 1 bracket square equal to m square plus 1 bracket square so these numbers which numbers 2m then m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 these three numbers are Pythagorean triplets so this formula can be used to find any Pythagorean triplets this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you